I own 12 coats, jackets, vests total from J. Crew. But in today's video, I am focusing on the ones that keep coming back. Some of these have the same style but in different colors or similar styles with a slight twist. J. Crew currently has a great sale on them. Even if you miss it after this video, keep checking because they will go on sale again since we are heading into the holidays and cold season. This is a Daphne top coat in Italian boy wool. These are essentially the same coat. Mine is in an autumn biscuit warm. The new one is in a heather camel. In person, the colors are almost the same and the texture is also the same. The locker loop on the new one is in metal. My old one is in wool. The button on the new ones are slightly darker in color and one thing you can see is the old one has waist seam. They are both 100% boy wool. It hits me right at the top part of my knees. I bought it for $82 in the middle of December pre-COVID so perhaps the price could go down more. Pros, it is quite lightweight, runs slightly large. I normally wear size 0. At this size, it fits well in the shoulders but slightly loose in the bodice. Although there are only two buttons, they are at the perfect spot so the coat doesn't gap open. It is a low maintenance piece and can hide flaws, stains, fuzziness due to its natural texture. It also doesn't itch and I have sensitive skin. Con, being a camel coat because of the boy wool, it is not as elevated but definitely is more elevated than a lot of uh, other outerwear. Neither the old or new one is lined and I am okay, but some of you might prefer some lining. It is not as soft as your typical wool coat, but it is normal for a boiled wool. I think people confuse smoothness versus softness. Some past reviewers mentioned that it attracting lint more, but it is more common with a darker color. Light black, I haven't experienced that. I love it. I also have another one in Ice Mountain Blue. That essentially has the same measurements as the Classic Zero, except for the arm length that is about half an inch shorter. I love them both. Next up is your cocoon coat in Italian stadium cloth wool. I am comparing my gray with the current gray, which is called Heather Dusk. The color and pattern are almost identical from old versus new. As you can see, the pockets are hidden on my old ones. The new one has the flap welch pockets. Mine also has sweater, collar lining, and cuffs. The new one doesn't. They both have the same fabric content, which is 80% wool and 20% nylon. Zip closure, interior chain locker loop, and lined. This is currently $378 and all coats are on sale for 44% off. If you have a Jeku credit card, you can get an additional 20% off. So you could end up paying about $182 for this particular one. That is an amazing price. It is beautiful, super well made, and will upgrade your outer game. I like my old style better because the cuff that can keep air from entering and will keep you warmer. However, this is not something I reach for often because of its weight. It is quite heavy, 3 pounds to be exact. I am hoping the new one weighs less because it doesn't have the sweater cuffs and sweater collar liner. I say it's true to size. Mine is in classic double zero because, well, I don't remember why I bought that size, to be honest with you. In this size, there is very little room in the sleeves or shoulders to layer. Sleeveless or thin fabric is fine, but again, you may not need to layer much because the coat itself is thick and warm. For this type, I would wear a denim shirt, uh, under a vest, and a scarf if need to. One other thing I am not a big fan of this style is that the collar always seems to brush against my chin and rub off the foundation for my face. Something to consider, uh, ladies. By the way, if you love this coat, Jeku Factory's CD coat is very similar to the Cocoon and it is on sale for $440 at the time of this video. This icon trench is similar to mine as well except that it has a hoodie which I don't care for because I look ridiculous in hoodie. 
but it is removable. It also has a storm flap, chest flap, and a bent slit that gives more that movement, especially if you are lower half heavy. It doesn't have shoulder appellates like mine and is not labeled water repellent. It is one half inch longer than the older version and supposed to have a more relaxed fit. They are both in vintage khaki color, 100% cotton and is indeed a trench to have. This is true to size as far as clothing size, but for outerwears, I always recommend sizing up because you never wear a coat by itself unlike other garments. Exception is with garments that are labeled oversized or you really love oversized. I love this. It will last a lifetime. I've had this for a little while and everything still pretty much is intact. Trench coats, even with fast fashion brand, tend to be more durable. So while the seams may come apart from a cheaper piece, the fabric is substantial enough to last longer. I love that the current trench is machine washable. Mine is dry clean. It does attract lint easily though. This is the Italian double cloth wool and is equivalent to the ladies top coat in double cloth wool. The composition is the same, 75% wool and 25% polyamide lined and both need to be dry clean. The structure is identical but the coat front looks different obviously. I like the pockets on mine because they are more fun but they make me look shorter because they seem to sit lower on the coat and they are kind of slanted. On the other hand, the waistband on the new version is more figure flattering and waist defining. The buttons are also concealed on the new version, so it is sleek and streamlined. My has a back band slit. The new one doesn't seem to have it, as it, I can't see it anyways. The length is very similar to the other one. Mine has a hidden pockets inside, which I never use, but it's nice to have. These are both in size 0 and true to size. It is of medium weight and thickness. It feels slightly uh, less soft than the Daphne. If I had it in size 2, the sleeves and coat itself would be too long. So this is more of a fitted coat that I would wear with a tissue turtleneck, for example, sleeveless turtlenecks, cashmere, merino wool, or thinner garments. Of the ones I've shown so far, this one definitely has more structure. If I had a choice to choose between the two, old and new, I would go with the newer version. But make sure to size up if you plan on wearing anything thicker than your standard shirt, for example. I love all the four coats that I feature today and they are great for different reasons. The Daphne is easy, everyday, elevated casual wear. The ladies coat is versatile and very timeless. The style has gone back as far as 22 years ago. The iconic trench is well iconic but may not be warm enough for where you are in the middle of winter. Surprisingly, the one I least reach for is the cocoon because of its weight. If you'd like to see a video of my coat collection, leave me a comment below. Good luck finding your best one. See you next week.